I like everything come up before I tie. Because I know when I'm gonna tie, and if we sell to everybody this time, nothing. Yep. Grandmaster Navigator Pius Mao Pialo from the tiny island of Sarawal in the Caroline Islands of Micronesia first came to Hawaii in the mid 1970s. Bucking tradition and breaking taboos of his homeland, he brought back to the Hawaiian people the ancient and lost art of wayfinding, non instrumental navigation, bringing life back to a culture that was dying. A simple islander who crossed an ocean and changed the world. In 2001, Mao comes to Hawaii for three reasons. To visit with Shorty and Clay Bertelman, navigator and captain of the Makali'i. To talk about the canoe Clay intends to build for Mao to bring home to Micronesia as a learning tool. And most importantly, to receive a long overdue public tribute from the Hawaiian voyagers, 25 years after Mao's first voyage on Hokulea. Do you brother and sister. Then the main reason for his trip emerges. Mao writes a speech for his tribute that he hopes is a call for unity to bring the separate Hawaiian canoe families on different islands back together as one. Only by working together will the Hawaiian voyagers preserve the culture and navigational skills taught to him by his grandfather on Sadawal. Mao's two passions, the building of a canoe for Micronesia and the Hawaiian canoe families coming together to work as one, are of equal and urgent importance to him because ironically, the ancient culture he brought back to Hawaii is fading away in his homeland. This is a stock compass. This stock compass is, was put in here to teach uh, the kids from Hawaii. All we are learning was through him. Eh? We were asked to do this kind of traditionally. Mao was available to come up and give us a hand. Actually, actually to do the whole thing. It, it was his design and his expertise that put this together. You know, and us, us as a student learning, eh? learning how to do. Mao and Clay return Mao Loa to Ho Nao Nao, where the canoe was built. And there they visit Mao's good friend, Tava, a veteran of many voyages on the Hokulea. Tava, a Pacific Islander from the Marquesas, is like Mao, a man who is raised under the culture of the canoe. Him is like uh, my dad and a canoe, because that's how we talk it. The war is a canoe. It's a part of the culture many, many years, the navigator. The navigator, as we say, he's the daddy of the canoe. He's the father of the canoe. Yep. The navigator. So that's how we work for him. What he say, you better do. Now in Hilo, it is time for the Hawaiian voyagers to say to the Grand Master Navigator, Mahalo. On this day, crew members from many past voyages will travel to the Big Island from Maui, Molokai, Kauai, and Oahu to pay honor to their teacher. The Makali'i will circle Hilo Bay until it is time to sail Mao back to shore. It is the opening honor to this day of tributes for the master navigator.
Among those attending are Paige Barber from Waianae, Snake Ahi from Maui, Bert Barber from Waianae, and Ainoa Thompson, Maui's student and navigator of the Hokulea from Honolulu. I was greeted first by the Royal Order of Kamehameha. together with the help of Max Yoramai and Max basically translated the things that Papa has wanted to say to all of us today. To all my family, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming together today. I'm really happy for this gathering that you've made for all of us. Don't forget that at the beginning of our voyages, we did them as one. All these voyages, starting from the first one to all those voyages yet to come, are not only for Micronesians, Polynesians, Melanesians, but for the good of all people. My sun is setting now. And when my sun has set, I wish for all of you to continue our voyages as one. When I was young, I learned navigation from my grandfather. Navigation in 1976 was not openly shared but when I came to Hawaii to take the first voyage on Hokulea, to Tahiti, I saw that if I hold this knowledge to myself, the knowledge would be lost. So this is why I wish that we move forward as one people. That you, my brothers, sisters, and children, this is what is in my heart. And it's you that we will see in the rising sun. Shorty Bertelman, Nainoa Thompson, and my son Cesario, you are my first students. You are the ones that are in the sunrise. To you three, remember that you have many students now. That is why you must follow what I have said and work together. Again, I will tell you three that it is stronger to work together than to go your separate ways. These are the words of hope, peace, feeling. <laughs> 